Red Bull Flugtag is the place where dreams come true. The aim is simple. Fly your homemade aircraft as far as possible. Some people didn't get the memo, and the only place they were going was straight down. Go, blimey! These are our top eight flying machines that went absolutely nowhere. So, LifeFly, what do you do on the morning of the event? Why not build your craft? Why, 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 why do it weeks in advance and test it? Let's do it on the morning and see how it goes. Lie, fly. Um, Ivan is the pilot, Margarita, Stillian, Martin and Stoyle. And there's not much about this at all. It's hardly moving on the platform. It looks like one of the wings has got caught. Oh, one of the wings has come off. Oh, they've gone straight down. They got the wing caught in the netting. That snapped it off. Ivan went plummeting over the edge with the plane. I suppose after that you call the pilot Ivan the Terrible. Look at him on the way down, straight into the water. Performance 41. Dear, dear, dear me. We've got the Vinyl Frontier. That's supposed to be a big record, a vinyl disc, if you know what they are. Great, if you don't, ask your mum and dad. Uh, they're hoping to make sweet music here in Louisville. Mate, let's see what the Vinyl Frontier can do. It's certainly a strange-looking craft. Will it fly? We're about to fly. Oh, they've all gone at the same time! And it's flipped over. Didn't get very far, did it? It's just a big round circle. It looks nothing like a plane. Ten metres. <laughs> Splash. Well, 31. 31 out of 50. Not good. So let's see whether flying sweet corn can really fly. Now, Alex the pilot is actually an air hostess in a professional life, so she's used to being in the air. But she's used to being in the air a lot longer than she's going to be in the air today. So let's see how flying sweet corn does. Look at all of those balloons. Is that going to help them? Are they filled with helium, I wonder? The judges haven't tested them. Anyway, here we go, towards the end of the ramp, and off we go, and straight down, all oh, straight down! There's certainly no helium in those balloons. Seven metres. Now, she seems OK. Just look at it here. She goes face first into the wings and then into the water. There's the performance, though, 41. That's a good score, and that will give Flying Sweet Corn a lift. Lots of people here today, as always. And the next scene we have is Dino Saw. You can see what they've done there. And I'm reliably informed this is uh, a horrifying amalgamation of a velociraptor and a golden eagle. And there is the performance element of all this. Uh, a moderate headwind is ideal. The wind is just starting to get up a little bit, which might pose a problem. So off goes Dinosaur! Down goes Dinosaur! And it was more dino plunge in the end into the Charles River. 8.2 metres as well. We said 12.8 was about par for the course. So you can do the maths as well as I can. In fact, probably better than I can. And it never really got going. You can see the headwind now lifted it backwards. Too much wind um, at it. The performance is 43. At four, we're cruising over to the Norwegian capital of Oslo to find out why flying camper vans never took off. 80 metres, then. That's what they're aiming for. Happy campers, the all-girl team who have travelled all night to be here. Uh, they left home at six o'clock and they travelled through the night to make sure they can be involved in this one today. They've gone for the retro camping wagon and a very interesting costume as well. Couldn't be better. There's the runway. Let's have a look at the result. 80 metres was the target, nowhere near it, straight down. And I'm not sure whether the pilot actually landed on the wing. Let's have a look at the distance. Well, 75 metres more and they would have achieved their target. They were so close, weren't they? And just have a look at this. She comes straight down. Pleased to say she's OK. There's the look of concentration. Then you realise you've got to bail out quickly and there's nothing you can do. Let's have a look at the scores. Uh, 41 out of 50 for happy campers. So now Team Manta Ray, who are certainly not afraid to strut their stuff on the platform here, the takeoff platform. 
Uh, they're all scuba divers, this lot. Nicola, Alessandro, Schialdo, Andrea and Pippo, the pilot, which might come in handy. So there it is. It looks like it might fly. It looks like a manta ray. Is it going to be a flying fish or a diving fish? We're about to find out. Pleased to say the rain has stopped as well. The shower's gone, so better conditions for manta ray. Uh, picking up some speed towards the end of the ramp here and then down towards the end, and will it fly? No, it won't. In fact, the pilot flew further than the craft itself. <laughs> Three metres. We might as well not have bothered. Three metres. I think you could stand on the end, step off yourself, and go further than that. There it is. Down it goes. Uh, there it is. 50 points, the performance score. Well, there you go. It's an all-girls team. They all work together. And the company they work for is called Blowfish, hence why they've called their team that today. It's an under-the-sea theme. Uh, they want to be on top of the water for as long as they possibly can, which means they've had a decent flight. It just looks like a round ball, but we'll just see what it does. It looks like a brain, actually, doesn't it? Here we go, then, towards the ramp. Oh! Straight off the front. Yeah, it didn't fly, did it? 8.2 metres. It's just a round ball. How are you supposed to get a round ball to fly? She's straight off. Been a fantastic competition again here in Louisville. 24 out of 50. Right, Pro Divine are next. Uh, they look like a load of bees. Bees fly. Let's hope this particular plane does. Anyway, lots of backflips and all kinds of acrobatics. They're all rearing to go in the sunshine here in Varna today with a big crowd in. So off they go. Pro and oh, they've gone straight off the side. <laughs> I didn't see that coming, did you? They went straight off the side. Look at his intels. Good job, the net's there. It's a good job that net was there. Go on, drag him out. You could start again, could you? Stick him back on. They can't believe it. Anyway, now there's no speed at all because his bottle's gone and straight off the end and down. Wow, 16.4 to beat. I think 5.1 flatters that crew, I've got to say. The first one was about minus six. Now, the performance 57. They won't be threatening the leaderboard today. Down he goes. Bang! <laughs> 